So if you couldn't tell from the title and the intro, today's video is going to be a 90s inspired grunge makeup look. And as I said, I grew up in the 90s and I saw a bunch of people doing kind of like 90s grunge looks and I've personally been gravitating towards this eye look more and then like I don't pair this together normally like the lips and eyes but recently I have been pairing them with like other looks so I'll wear like this lip with a different eye look or something like that so I figured why not put them together in a video for you guys because I personally love watching these types of videos so I figured I would love making one too if that makes sense. But I also do apologize for not posting in quite some time because I've been super busy and I know I said that in my previous video but it's just been really crazy guys and I also lost a nail so please don't mind that in the video. <laughs> for those of you that have been asking, yes they are acrylic nails. My nails do not just magically grow. Yeah. So if you grew up in the 90s or you just like this video and you wish people still did their makeup like this all the time, like this was just like a thing, Please give this video a big thumbs up and if you are new to my channel be sure to hit the subscribe button down below so you can be notified when I make new videos and you can go check out all my previous videos. And speaking of previous videos, I also did a 90s inspired fashion video for Halloween so it was more like costumey and more like fun 90s outfits. So if you want to see more outfits that I would actually like wear on a daily basis because I do kind of have more of like a 90s style I guess. Like I, well I guess, I don't really know, but I have a lot of pieces of my wardrobe that would fit kind of more for the 90s style, so if you would like to see like a real everyday 90s fashion inspired video, give this video a thumbs up and let me know down below in the comments. But I think this intro is already pretty long, so I'm just going to get into the video and I hope you enjoy. To start off this look, I'm using my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and I took an eye pencil that was in a little bit of a darker nude color because the rest of my eyeshadows are going to be similar to that. So I'm starting off with the Revealed 1 palette and applying this nude tan color into my crease. Then taking the second Revealed palette, I am taking this mauve color and I'm applying that into my crease as well but just a little bit higher, I'm taking it up a little bit. Then I'm going in with that same palette and using this maroon burgundy color and this is where like I'm really focusing on the outer V and blending it in with the other colors of eyeshadow that we already use. Then I'm going to be taking this lighter mauve color and applying that into the inner corner and like the center of my eyelid. Then taking the lightest shade I'm applying that to my brow bone and my inner corner. Then taking that maroon burgundy color again I'm applying that under my lower lash line to just pull the whole look together. Then I'm using my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eyeliner for my tight line and waterline like I normally do. But I'm then also taking it and using it on my upper lash line, which normally I use a liquid eyeliner. But for this look, I wanted a more like smoldering effect, if that makes sense. So I'm using this to messily do it. And then I'm taking this little like smudge brush and I'm just smudging it out so it's not so harsh. Then I'm going in with my Revealed 2 palette and taking the darkest black color they have and just applying that on top since it is a like pencil liner, I want to make sure it lasts all day. Then I'm just curling my eyelashes and using my favorite mascara which right now is the NYX Stacked Mascara and I'm just applying this generously until I get my desired results. For my face makeup, I'm starting off with the Angel Veal Primer to obviously prime my face. Then for foundation, I've been using the NYX Invincible Full Coverage Foundation and I find that this works best when I'm applying it with my hands instead of a beauty blender. So I'm just donning it all around my face and then blending it in with my hands. For concealer, I've absolutely been loving my Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer from NYX and I'm just applying this underneath my eyes where my dark circles are and to any other problem areas where there's like redness or zits or anything like that. Then I'm setting all of that with my NYX HD Studio Finishing Powder and then I'm going in with my NYX Matte Bronzer which I just realized I'm using a lot of NYX products but I'm going in with my bronzer and I'm just defining my cheekbones and also applying it up on my temples to kind of frame my face a little bit. Then since I am using a darker lipstick, I like to apply lip liner, which I don't normally do for other lip looks, but since this is a dark one, you definitely want to apply some lip liner. It just gives it a clean finish because when you're working with darker lipsticks, it can get kind of messy. So I'm using this one from Sephora that was the closest to my lipstick color that I could find. So I'm just lining them and then filling them in with that lip liner. 
for my lipstick, I'm using my Kat Von D lipstick in Homegirl, which can I tell you guys is literally my favorite dark lipstick ever. It is just the perfect color and I love it. So then I'm using my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Transylvania on top of that just to give it a flawless finish and then the look is complete. I hope you all enjoyed this video and as I said at the beginning if you did enjoy this video or you just like the 90s or you like Luna running around in the background be sure to give this video a big thumbs up it would really help me out and I'd appreciate it and if you are new to my channel be sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you liked what you saw and if you'd like to see a 90s inspired fashion video please let me know that down below too and I can certainly do that for you but that is about it for this video and I will see you all in my next one and it will definitely be less of a wait between this video and my next video than it has been. So I apologize, I love you all. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and Snapchat and all those things that will be linked down below if you'd like more updates on a daily basis so you guys know when I will and will not be posting videos. Yeah, love you all and goodbye! I think my hands are moving a lot during that intro and outro. That might have been distracting. Oh well, sorry.